Hello and welcome to Professor Pincushion. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can upcycle a vintage planter and create a really unique looking pincushion. Let's go ahead and get started. Here are some of the supplies I'm going to be using in order to create my pincushion. First, I have my vintage planter here. So you can see I have the hole in the top. So you can find this at thrift store or antique shop. I have some paper for creating my pattern, some fabric. You can really use many different types of fabric, but I'm using a stretch velvet here just because it looks a little bit more elegant. Some trim. For both of these, you can pretty much use scraps. It really just depends on how big your planter is. I think for this, I got a quarter of a yard, and for this, I just picked up a yard because it was on sale. You need some polyester stuffing. You need some needles, because we're gonna do, be doing a little bit of hand sewing. Some thread, some glue. I'm gonna be using fabric glue. You can also use a glue gun. I know a lot of people you do that. Some fabric scissors, sewing gauge, and a pencil for creating our pattern. First, we're gonna take our planter and we're going to measure our opening. Now, you can notice mine is not a perfect circle, but that's fine because when we, once we put the pincushion in there, it's gonna kind of form itself around the shape. So looking at it, I noticed that going from here to here seems to be a greater distance than going from here to here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the greater distance measurement. So that's about, it's gonna be about two inches you're gonna take whatever measurement you have, and I find what works best is to take that measurement and multiply it by three. So for me, two inches multiplied by three, that means I'm gonna have a pattern of a circle that's gonna be six inches in diameter. Draw your circle on a piece of paper, and we're gonna use that as a pattern. So for me, because I don't have a compass or anything, the easiest way I find to do a circle is you're gonna grab your ruler and a pencil. I just did a pen so it'd be easier to see. And each line is going to be the length of my diameter, and that's the calculation we just created. So each line is six inches, the midpoint being at the three inch point. So I do a line that's six inches, mark where the three inches is, and then I use that as my guideline to continue doing a couple of these lines across. Then I can just draw a curved line going one, from one point to the next. And you can see here's my finished pattern right here. And it's okay if it's not entirely perfect, we're just using it as a guideline. From our pattern, we're then going to cut out our circle from our fabric. Around the perimeter of the circle, we're then gonna do a running stitch and we'll get a little bit closer to show you how to do that. I already have thread on my needle for this running stitch. And I'm looking at the right side of my fabric here in the circle. I'm gonna start about an eighth of an inch away from the raw edge. And you can see I go down into the fabric, but then I go directly across and then come up. And then you can do it again if you want. Down and then come up. And I'm gonna pull my thread all the way through, but you don't have to start cinching yet. You can just leave that flat. So then I'm gonna rotate it and I'm gonna do the same thing again down and then up and then down and then up and you're going to go all the way around the whole circle. Flip it over to the wrong side then gently pull your thread so it'll start cinching up. So you'll end up with a little pouch. Before it gets too small though we still wanna be able to get in here. You're gonna take some polyester stuffing. You're gonna start putting it in the pouch and you wanna put enough so it's not too floppy. You want it to be a little firm. And then once you have enough stuffing in there, continue pulling. And my thread is still on my needle. So then, after I pull this, I can go ahead and tie a couple of knots. Now, we wanna make sure that this hole here is small enough the stuffing's not gonna come out, so you may do a couple of stitches going across it to bring it in a little bit closer, and then tie your knot. Next, we're gonna take our pin cushion and actually place it into our planter, and I'm gonna use a really good fabric glue in order to have it stick to the side. So I'm just putting the glue on the inside edge here. Now, some people like using a hot glue gun because that glue is a little bit more permanent. 
But for me, the fabric glue is a lot easier to work with. And if we're just sticking in straight pins and taking them out, I don't really think it's necessary that we need a more permanent solution because it works pretty well for me. So after I put the glue in, you're gonna take your pin cushion, you're gonna put it inside the planter to however you want it. So however much you want it sticking out. Now be careful that you don't push this down too far because if I continue pushing down, it may just pop to inside the planter and you want it to cover this part here as well. So we don't wanna see the inside. Lastly, all we need to do is add some beautiful trim to the base of our pincushion. So I'm actually gluing it with my fabric glue again to the fabric part, not to the swan or whatever your planter is. So I'm actually gonna start here where the end will be a little bit less noticeable and then follow along with the pattern. Now for me, it's easier, instead of just taking a piece of trim and putting glue along the whole thing and then trying to fiddle with it, I just do a little bit at a time. So I just put a little bit of glue place it, add a little bit more glue, and then place that. And I find that tends to be a little bit easier. And now your pin cushion is ready to use. So here's another example of one that I created. You can also use the same technique for teacups or for candle holders as well. Good luck in making your own. New tutorials are released weekly, so please subscribe to be notified of the next release. Make sure to check out our other videos and visit ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 200 sewing video tutorials, including our exclusive premium content. Our premium membership is only $5 a month for unlimited access and only available at ProfessorPincushion.com. Also, don't forget to download our mobile app for videos on the go. Thanks for watching.